Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, I made a video last night about my, I was troubleshooting my HTX10 Radio Shack radio, and I was getting this, I'm getting this weird AM, like, station on my, in the 10 meter band. Let me show you that real quick, uh, bring it up real fast so you can see it. So, I'm actually at, uh, AM mode 29.440 megahertz. And I'm actually picking up a radio station. I don't know which one it is. But some guy re replied to my uh, video here and said uh, something that's, uh, in other words, your SDR is malfunctioning, not the HXN radio, especially nearby a strong station. So I'm somehow picking up some interference. So it's either my um, SDR dongle or something like that and some other some other guy um uh, these are the screen names by the way um harmonic or intermod product being created in the sdr hardware so i do actually have different dongles so i'm going to try that but actually what i do have um and i'd used them before i actually have an am trap and an fm trap so originally I had bought these to try to cancel out those error signals. So let me see here. Um, I'm actually on the SDRs. This is the place where I bought it originally. I don't know if we're uh, give some specs on those things here. Okay, so this is the RTL SDR blog broadcast FM band stop filter. Um, so I'm assuming this blocks out like the radio stations blocks the broadcast FM band between 88 and 108 uh, megahertz um, so it blocks out basically the radio stations supposedly then I also got this uh, blog uh, broadcast AM high pass filter and that uh, designed block out broadcast AM between 500 kilohertz and 1.7 megahertz which is not in the range I'm using I'm using 10 meter so I'm going to try this up. I'm going to hook it up. It's under my desk. My SDR dongle is on my, uh, I have a Core i7 computer down there. 32 gig of RAM SSD drive. So it's pretty blazing fast. Um, okay. So uh, if this doesn't work, I'm actually, I'm running the, uh, the dongle I'm running. I'm running the, uh, I actually do have a couple dongles, the cheaper ones. But I, I originally had got this one because I wanted to get more into HF. So, and this one supposedly was, uh, had the built-in, uh, I guess, not sure if it's uh, what was it called the filter or um, I don't know, but that's the one I got right there. And uh, okay, so yeah, I do actually have the version three dongle just like this says. So let me plug, plug this in. I'm gonna go back and the SDR radio, and we'll see what uh, happens here. So I'll come back. All right, guys, back here. Got the traps installed down below, and let's see if this thing makes any difference at all. Yeah, look at that. So that's after the trap. So look at this is before the traps. So this is the 10 meter band. If, if you didn't see that already, but uh, those are the trap. This is before the traps, getting a loud, random, weird signal, and. Um, now after the trap, look at that. So I guess it does work. So hmm. Cool, cool. Yeah, I guess it works. So actually I'm gonna try a different dongle anyways just to make sure. Uh but uh cool guys. Awesome, awesome. So it does work. Alright. Put a link in uh where you can get them, so